there is an old saying on the marketing business that goes, why sell a slice when you can sell the whole pie? And that is exactly what we're going to do today. Because being on the business, it is as we have said before, it is not a competition that you need to worry about, but how you sell your product. Remember, anyone can make decals. What makes a difference is how you sell them. And we have found a way not to only sell decals, but to also advertise a new product, which is digital menus. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. So here's the whole idea. We're going to take a picture of the menu of the taco truck. Then we're going to create a digital menu using a program that we develop and that we're going to show you how it works. And then we're going to create a decal with a QR code. So that way the customers can scan the QR code and look at the digital menu that way that you are watching here so this is a great product that you can offer to your customers plus you will also make a decal and turn it into a double profit and we're going to show you today how everything works so make sure you stick around with us today because this is going to be a new idea and make sure you subscribe and like this video so let's begin with part one of creating a digital menu but first let me start with things that you must know and that you must tell the customers it is not a website it is more like an image or a png image which you can add a qr code but they can navigate almost like a website but it is not a navigational page but more like a presentation page but the great thing about this is that they don't have to pay hosting or any other fees that they do with a website another great thing is that they don't have to pay for a domain however if they want to be on google search or they require good seo they do need a domain. There's no way that they can do that without a domain. For that, they will need a website. You must tell them that. But don't worry, a lot of people do not need a domain or a website. This is why making digital menus will be a perfect product and a perfect project for today. So let's begin and let me show you how this program works with the sign frame. By the way, if you are an RDI premium, you will be able to use this program. So let's begin okay so here we are on the sign frame and by the way we're about to do an update because we have added more cool features on this program so stay tuned for that and uh, here's the program you will find it on special tools it's called presentation page generator which is this one so basically this program is the one that we're going to use to make the digital menu and just like a website this program has a header and a footer and it has a middle section here where you see the black uh, bo box right here so in the in the header you're going to place the logo or the artwork of the company below you will upload what we call the banner or the biggest image on the page and then down here you can start adding any description like the title description anytime you want to add something you just click on the add title button and down here we have the middle section we have another title or title number two and by the way for each title you can change the text type you can change the text color and you can change the text size how big or how small you want it for all of them and on the middle section you can add pictures of the menu that we're going to add of uh, some images that the customers send me and down below you will have uh, the final part of the menu which is uh, the final title or title number three you can add uh, also more titles and in the end once we finish editing any everything we're going to click on the red button that deactivate editing. However, you got to make sure that you have everything, that everything's spelled correctly before you click on that, because after you click on it, everything will stop and you can no longer edit your page. And finally, we're going to download the page or the menu. Here, I already have everything set up, but let me show you how I edited my images using the sign frame. And let me upload a picture that I uh, have here. I'm going to go to all files and then I'm going to select the image. 
So basically I added the company's logo or the taco truck uh, logo and I'm gonna he asked me to add uh, the small branding on each picture. So I'm gonna stretch the image and then I'm gonna capture or adjust the frame on the picture by scrolling here and it adjusts the image. Now I'm gonna upload the logo of the company which I have here. You see that uh, there's no logo, that's because the PNG is in the back. So you're gonna send the PNG back and the logo will come to the front. Now I'm gonna add a white outline to this image and I'm going to add it down here where it says uh, black or white outline. So I'm gonna click once and then I'm gonna start checking my uh, art or my logo here. And I'm gonna keep adding more so you can add as much as you want just make sure you don't add too much but I think that's gonna be good and then I'm going to place this uh, either here or here whatever you want to add it and then once you have it then you download and you will have yourself a image with the artwork of the company as you are watching here so let me delete this and now let's go to the menu uh, digital menu uh, or the page the presentation page generator which is this one so now let's upload the company logo which is this one as i said i already have everything set up now start adding the menu and one thing that i recommend you guys do is that you use microsoft word or wordpad whatever you want to call it to write all the menu everything that's spelled correctly so that way you can just copy and paste and it'll be much easier for you guys and also make sure that the customer sent you the right information and you make sure you tell him that any misspells or anything missing it's on him and you might charge him additional if he messes up so but it's all up to you so now let's add the banner or the biggest image of the page and i'm going to select the image that i have here which is the taco truck and i believe is this one and yes that's what the main image is going to be on this uh, digital menu and now i'm going to start filling in the information here on top i'm going to do the menu so i'm going to call this uh, menu and then uh, we're going to start adding uh, more stuff but first i'm going to select the type of font that i want and this one i do like a lot and i'm going to make it 73 pixels big and the color i'm going to keep it black and now i'm going to add another section and i'm going to keep adding a lot of them because i have a lot of information that i need to add like i said every title that you add it has its own option to add a text type text color and the size of the text so for the second title i'm gonna select a orange color because one of the things that i noticed from this customer and that you can already see here is that he loves the uh, the orange color so i did not have to ask him that so i'm gonna make a background that's going to match with the taco truck so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to do one by one here so i'm going to select with the color picker or the eyedropper tool and do this because this is going to save me a lot of time let me show you what i mean so the first one will be meat choices section and he asked me to do as a title so that's why i selected as a title and pretty much i'm going to do the same type of font for all of them it was set that i'm gonna make this a little smaller than the menu text and then uh, now i'm gonna add this uh all the meat selection that he wants the customers to see and then i'm gonna copy and paste and i'm gonna do that on black and i'm gonna paste and now i'm gonna make sure that i do not leave any spaces below uh, you can see here on the box that it's everything it's perfect now i'm going to select the same type of font and i'm going to make it 68 and then i'm going to leave it like that and pretty much i'm going to do the same i'll show you in a little bit all right so i want you to uh, take a look i have pretty much filling the blanks i got the information the the whole menu at the size and the font everything matches and I have the uh, the bottom section filled. Now here on the middle section, uh, this I'm gonna call our most popular dishes. And I'm gonna make this a green, like a lime green color. 
So I'm going to select the color here. I'm going to keep it the same font. And now I'm going to start doing by order uh, one by one all the images here. I'm going to start adding all the images and I'm going to keep uh, adding these ones here. Pretty much these are all the most popular uh, items for this taco truck. So this is why I call this section that. And here's the last image. Now that I have the middle section filled, now we're going to finish with the bottom one. And here I'm going to place a screenshot that I took from Google from Google Maps of where his taco truck is located. So now that we have everything, I, I double check everything spelled correctly. Now on the final section, I'm gonna do the footer the same color as the orange here. So I'm gonna click on the color and make sure the, uh, the code for this color is 25564. So this one is for the header and this one is for the center box, which is this one black and they're all black as you can see as default but the the footer i'm gonna do that uh, the same color as the text which is 255 64 which is this orange and here i'm gonna upload an icon a facebook icon for his social media because he only has facebook but i'm gonna select one that's gonna match with the uh, background which is orange now i have everything filled the whole menu is ready to be downloaded and, and like I said, make sure you double check everything because once you click on the red button, which I'm going, uh, I'm about to do that, click and uh, you can no longer edit anything. So now the final step is to download and it's going to take a little bit and it's going to download the image. And now we're going to add a QR code to this image and I'm going to show you how to do that. But let me show you the menu, how it looks like. Don't worry, that's not how it's going to look like, but this is more like how it's going to look like on mobile version. Once they scan the QR code, this is how it's going to look like on them. So now let's add a QR code and let me show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are on vistaprint.com and we're going to click on QR code and then it's going to take us to the free QR code, uh, QR code generator. And the reason why I choose Vistaprint is because I did some research and they're one of the few websites that offer uh, non-expirable QR codes. What does that mean? That means that if you register an image or a website URL to create a QR code, it will never expire for what I know. But uh, again, I did a lot of research and yeah, so far there's a lot of good ratings. So this is why I use uh, Vistaprint. Now I'm going to go to this section and where it says open a website. But like I said, this is not a website. It's a, it's a file. So we're going to go to file upload and then we're going to select the file that we just downloaded, which will be called menu right here and it's taking a little bit. It's uploading the image that we just edited, which is this one here. And here it is, it's uploaded now. Now we're gonna click on create QR code and this is the QR code it generated for the digital menu. And that's how easy it is. Now, make sure you stick around for part two on how we're gonna make this into a decal and how we're going to install this uh, QR code in, in the taco truck and you're gonna see and uh, how we test it and make sure that the digital menu works perfectly. So thank you guys. And again, if you are interested on using this program to create pages like this or menus for like catering and even like a presentation page for construction companies, you can use this program using your RDI premium membership by using the sign frame and you can find this tool on the special tools. It will be called presentation page generator. Thank you guys so much. Uh, make sure you hit the like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, you leave them on the comment section. Thank you. And we will see you on part two.